So where's this offense right now? Right now, um, where we're at is inconsistent. And that's probably the hardest part right now, Fitz, is you look at it, and I've been diving into it quite a bit. When we have the turnovers that we have and when we don't have the success in the red zone, you know, you look at two of five scoring in the red zone, and yes, there's two field goal attempts prior to, you know, when we're successful, those aren't field goal attempts. And so that's part of it. And then, um, you know, there's some execution errors right now, which you look at in week 10, that is probably the most frustrating aspect about it. What, what from that last game can you take and apply forward that is going to help this team? And we need to start faster. And you look at it, we talk about it, and guys, I'm searching, we're all searching, and you know, it's like, you should be a coach, you should be able to pinpoint the exact point as to why. If you did that, guys, you know, you'd, you'd be the wisest guy in the world. And so one of the things that we talked about is there is stress out there. You look at it and say, coming off of a loss the previous week and, you know, mentally are you saying, man, we have to win this game to do this as opposed to looking at let's take it one play at a time. And that was the message. And I don't know exactly that we did that. You know, I think that there is a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of puckering up. You know, we talk about overcoming adversity through the entirety of it. And, and there was, that was ample on Saturday evening. And how we continue to grow and learn from that is, is very important. One of the big positives is, and I really took a very keen eye to this when I was grading that film early hours of Sunday morning, in spite of what the score was in that second half, I thought guys really did play extremely hard. And maybe that's trying to find silver lining, and I understand that. And right now, after coming off a few losses, that's something you have to do. But I was proud of that. Uh, offensive coordinator is a unique job in the sense that it comes with a lot of criticism, winning or losing. How have you handled that part of the job this season? You know, it's, it, it does. And it's one of those things that you prepare yourself for mentally. Um, you know, it's, it's still hard, not necessarily that the criticism, it's what makes it challenging is the responsibility you take for the coaches in this building and the players in this building. And that's probably been the biggest challenge. It's not necessarily whether you like a call or as to why I made this call or somebody else, you know, likes this call as to that, the responsibility that you feel with the other coaches, and then more importantly, the responsibility that you feel with the players is probably the hardest part right now, is because you have to. And I talked about it a week ago today. The first person you're gonna look at is the person in the mirror. First finger, finger that you're gonna point is the thumb. And you know that's probably been the biggest challenge. The outside stuff, uh, you know, I guess it probably impacts my wife or maybe my mom a little bit more than it does me uh, because I know what is really, in my heart, the most important thing, and it's the people in this building. I think we saw this a little bit in the Houston mm -hmm. game and then on Saturday as well, but just the drives unable to be sustained for longer periods and, you know, you go droughts without scoring. What's sort of the biggest reason for that? Can you pinpoint a reason? Yeah, it, it goes into in to pinpoint it. You know, I, I said earlier the inconsistency because you look at you look at our drives and, you know, in the first drive, um, you know, we have a, obviously a turnover on the second play. Then you go back to a particular second drive and we're in a third and long because we aren't running the ball in early downs well enough. I thought that they did something a little bit out of the norm there early. And, you know, on the third down, um, that first three and out, we had a uh, missed assignment. You know, a guy missed a signal and he had a missed assignment. It was a, uh, a good 
scheme into the defense that we saw that would have given us an opportunity. And you saw Avery kind of get flushed back out to the left because uh, one of the guys didn't quite hit his landmark. You know, then you get into your your third series and the consistency guys. And, and I challenge the offensive line. You know, play call or no play call. We had we had two opportunities to get at the end of the day three and a half feet in two downs, and we didn't execute in those situations. There's poor technique on one. Um, there was um, a physical issue on the other one. And, and then you get into that next series, and we have a turnover inside the 30, which does not even account for the two of five in the red zone because that's not in the red zone. But when you get first and 10 in theory on the 29, and that's, you know, and then the drive that we didn't finish in the red zone. I think that was the entirety of the first half right there. And, you know, part of it is uh, settling in, being more consistent with a run game. And, uh, you know, I got to do a better job of maybe getting some things a little bit more out on the perimeter, you know, which you saw us looking to do. Um, but uh, but that's, that's probably where I see it is in coach touched on it, and I couldn't agree with him more, some of our inability to run the football early. You know, I thought we, we, we figured some things out there towards the latter part of the second quarter and then in the second half. But at that point, because of um, the situation, you're, you're down 24 nothing. That, that makes it tough. You think Dylan and Keegan will be ready to go this week? Yeah, they're progressing. I think that we'll know a little bit more this afternoon um, as we go through that. You know, obviously, Keegan's situation, uh, you know, uh, losing him in the pregame. Um, was a challenge for us, but that's the adversity that you have to overcome. And, um, and we'll know a little bit more today. Uh, both he and Dylan are progressing, you know, and let's see how they go today to see what kind of availability they're going to have Saturday night. Were you able to replicate some of the stuff you like to do with Dylan with Joe? Yes, and I think, you know, we, we didn't – because last week – we had a pretty significant plan. And there's some things that no, we can't, and there's some things that we have to. And with your limited practice time, especially when you get in week 9, 10, 11, guys are banged up. You can't be out there, you know, for three hours. Um, we, we need to do a better job of that. There were some things that we had replicated that we still did utilize. Um, and then there was quite a bit within that game plan that unfortunately we weren't able to do uh, because of the injury. And it's, it's, I mean, you guys saw what a tough kid Dylan Edwards is. You know, he gets kind of hurt on one. Um, I wish he would have gone down, uh, but uh, um, the kid wants to play. And in spite of it, you know, it's easy for a lot of people to say, oh, well, hell, in the second half, that kid's begging to go back in when we're down 24 nothing. And, and that's a testament to who that young man is, the type of competitor he is. Sam Blum, what's the one thing you want to see from the offense on Saturday to get them on track? Yeah, I want to see execution. Yeah, I want to see discipline. I want to see execution. That's the biggest thing right now that we're lacking. And, and whether it's holding on to the ball, ball security, whether it's running the right route, whether it's using proper technique up front, those are all things that are 100% within our control. You know, they make a hell of a play on a pick, uh, a tip ball, those things happen. You know, but okay, hey, you go out and you get beat. That those things happen. That's life. That's the game of football. I want to see execution. I want to see guys flying around, cutting it loose, playing free, and executing at a high level because those are the things right now in my mind, and, and I'm responsible. I'm responsible that we are lacking right now. And and I say lacking that are burning us right now, and they're getting exposed. And and that's what I want to see come Saturday night. Aggressive enough? No, probably not. You know, I thought that we did some some good things. You know, it's it's a balance fits with offensive line because you want to prepare to handle this pressure or handle that. And it's one of those things we discussed last week with some of their internal pressures. You know, hey, okay, we're trying to be perfect and trying to do this. Well, are we really coming off the of football? I thought in the second half we did a much better job and were able to catch them in some of those things. And, and part of it, too, is some of the play calling. You know, some of it is, okay, they bring this pressure into this particular call, 
hey, guess what? You know, it ain't going to be great. Let's try to find a way to make, you know, chicken crap into chicken salad. I think everybody knows the saying on that. But let's, let's get into it and then let's move on on those things. So, you know, th those, those happen. But we need to play with more confidence in saying no different, playing to win, not playing to not lose.